Sunday is Hollywood's biggest night. It's Oscars night. But as News Nation's Dean Richard shows us, it's going to be a very unusual evening. After the weirdest year in movie history, the 93rd Academy Awards are finally set to go on Sunday. Who and what will wind up winning? In the top categories, my predictions include English actor Daniel Kaluuya, previously nominated for an Oscar for his role in Get Out. This time he's up for Judas and the Black Messiah. And just like all the other award shows this year, he will win Best Supporting Actor. South Korean actress Yu Jun Young has won the Screen Actors Guild and British BAFTA Awards for her performance in Minari. I expect her to repeat Sunday as Best Supporting Actress. For Best Actor this year, Chadwick Boseman is set to become only the second person to win a Best Actor award posthumously. Peter Finch was first for Network. His performance in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is a career and life too short topper. And for Best Actress in a Lead Role, all of the Hollywood buzz and momentum seems to be with two-time Oscar winner Frances McDormand. It'll be the tightest race of the night, but I expect her to score statue number three and her director, Chloe Zhao, to win Best Directing Honors. Now, for Best Picture of the Year, the nominees are... Sound of Metal is the moving story of an addicted heavy metal musician who struggles in more ways than one when his hearing begins to fail. There's the heartbreaking look at the ravages of Alzheimer's in the drama The Father. Mank is a big and bold celebration of old school Hollywood and one of its most famous screenwriters, Herman Mankiewicz. Minari is a touching tale of a Korean American family looking for a better life when they move to rural Arkansas. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. One of two movies torn from the pages of Chicago history is the powerful Judas and the Black Messiah, tracing the rise and fall of the one-time chairman of the Illinois Black Panther Party, Fred Hampton. The other movie with Windy City roots is the Aaron Sorkin written and directed The Trial of the Chicago 7 that digs into the days that followed the riots and social unrest at the 1968 Democratic Convention. There's the understated but poignantly directed and performed Nomadland about a woman who leaves her small town life with her belongings packed into a van, adjusting to a solitary new life on the road. And finally, Promising Young Woman is the inventively different story about a woman who entices men into taking advantage of her and then goes on a revenge tear against them afterwards. These are the Best Picture nominees, and I think the winner will be... Hello, coffee? I know you. Yeah, hi. Dave, right? The movie uh, Nomadland is like a beautifully yeah. orchestrated yeah. song. Yeah. It elegantly yeah. transports you through its highs and leads you through its lows with grace and ease. Yeah. Frances McDormand, yeah. its other actors, and the actual nomads who appear in this film give it extra poignancy. It's a masterpiece, and I think the best movie of the year. Now, for new movies this weekend, the big release is the adaptation of the old-school video game Mortal Kombat. The film more than earns its R rating in the violence department. Fans of the game and those of you who just love ultra-action films will be pleased. I give it a Dean's List B. In Chicago, I'm Dean Richards. Again, you can catch the Academy Awards this Sunday night starting at 8 right here on News Channel 9.